Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we got an interesting video for you guys. I'm back in the Kansas. I know, surprise, surprise. But uh, yeah, I wasn't really intending to get a Kansas game. I was just kind of waiting for my Massachusetts come back from uh, being in battle. Um, and I jumped into Kansas and this match happened. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I have not seen so much ridiculous stuff happen in a long time. Like this match is just full of taters everywhere on both teams just taters everywhere as far as the eye could see just taters and so uh that is why we have called this the plight of the taters because it's it's definitely going to be an interesting one and because of all the taters this match is going to be over really quickly um big surprise i know but uh i promise you you will be entertained so we're going to push out to the right. You guys know me. I spawn on the right side here and the top. I go out to the outside. Um, if I spawn mid, I usually look to see who needs like support the most, which side needs support, and I'll choose that side to go support. Uh, but spawning on the top, I guess it would be the top left of the map, I usually try to solidify the flank, right? Win your side and then come back in, and you get crossfires. Um, so that's the goal here, is to go out wide and fight. Now, we are not top tier. As a matter of fact, as you can see, there is a GK right next to us, a.k.a. the Gross Occur First, right next to us. So we are, we are not top tier, though we are in a pretty solid state. Now, we've got a Yamato here, but it's not. It's actually an Amagi. So uh, I always hate that when people change their names to, like, ships, because, like, you look at a ship, and you go, oh, it's, y it's Yamato, and you're like, wait, no, that's an Amagi. Never mind. Uh, first shot, not a very good one, but completely blind is what it is. Kind of hard to get those shots. I'd rather take them and, oh my god, that could have been bad. Pretty sure that was an, a, an actual Yamato shooting at us, and that's a Conqueror. That's not a GK. Why was I thinking it was a GK, guys? I don't know. It's Conqueror. You guys were probably yelling at me, Spartan, that's not a, or that's not a gross curve, that's Conqueror. Yeah, I'm an idiot. You guys know this. But uh, we've got a Yami spotted here at long range. We're going to go ahead and take that shot over the islands. He's going to spot us initially, but he should be getting behind the island and disappearing. But nope, there's a Peter bag over there. He's getting to actually spot us. But uh, we get the shot over the island, and we actually do hit the Yami and get a pretty solid hit out of it. 6,800 damage total, so uh, roughly, what, 5,000? We'll call it 5,400 or so. Not a bad hit. Um, Conqueror takes a shot at the Peter bag with HE and just absolutely smashes it. And, uh, yeah, Conqueror HE. Ridiculous. We know. Uh, but we're gonna push out again. We know there's at least an Amagi coming over here, and there's usually more than that. So, it's gonna be down to me in this Conqueror to play smart and take what the enemy gives us and keep ourselves alive, hopefully. That's the goal. Anytime that you push out on a flank like this as just two ships, you have to try to conserve your hit points. You can't make stupid plays and get yourself killed because you're just throwing the, the game away for your team. Mino is that person. Mino comes around the corner as the first person spotted. Conqueror blaps him and then I go ahead and dev strike him with the front guns. I mean, when will they learn? You cannot be at the front of the freaking uh, ship. Like, you can't be at the front in a Mino. You just can't. You will die. Vanguard comes around the corner. He's bow in. And we take a shot into a superstructure. 13,000 damage with the rear guns only. Nasty. Uh, this Conqueror does not understand what's about to happen to him, which is he's getting rammed. There's no other way around this. This Vanguard has no intentions of fighting. He is just straight up torpedo mode. And, uh, unfortunately, we managed to not do much damage to the Vanguard that time because we actually hit most of our shells into our friendly ship. But, because they end up dying, that leaves me 1v1 with this Amagi. Well, we've already got a pretty solid start. We got 44,444 damage, uh, but then we blap that man for over 21,000 in Citadel, meaning uh, this is going to be an easy fight. Um, he has no chance. So, you'll see, I go ahead and start turning in. He could shoot us still. He still sees us because of the smoke firing penalty. But he, he fires his guns, and that means we're allowed to see him and shoot him back, and we do Citadel him once again. Just showcasing the na the nastiness of the, uh, the Kansas. I mean, if you go broadside to this thing, you will die. Period. I don't care what ship you're in. If you, if you give a Kansas a broadside, you deserve to go back to port, and you usually do pretty quickly. Um, but now that our side is completely solidified, three men enter. Well, technically, five men enter, one man leave. <laughs> 
three of the enemy ships dead, one of my teammates dead, and that's a good trade for my team. Unfortunately, Conqueror died, but fortunately for me, we're going to be able to uh, extend our advantage now. Now again, we know it's a domination match, so the next thing we need to do is capture the base. Now we've got a Brandenburg over there, we've got Alaska's on the back side of the island. It says momentarily that we can take the shot, so I take the shot, hoping that we can get it over the island, and not 100% sure we can. But uh, we do actually get one or two shells over, and we do hit him, but we don't do any damage, unfortunately. You can see I take and fire the rear guns at the Grosse Curve first, and the Grosse Curve first just got rammed and uh, gets a diehard. But uh, our shells should be fine in their mark shortly, I say, as uh, I think he actually is dead. Never mind. I don't know if the Brandenburg actually got torpedoes off and killed him. I didn't pay attention. But uh, you can see just all of the potatoes. There's just taters everywhere, man. Brandenburg yellows in and, and rams and then torps the GK, which, again, is great. It's a great trade for our team, but I would like to see you, you survive that engagement and then move on and help kill other people rather than just immediately throwing your ship in to trade one for one. Um, a legendary for a tier 7 will take that trade any day of the week, hence the Vanguard doing it for our Conqueror. Uh, but again, there are there are engagements that you can win like that and then still be around. You don't have to just ram somebody. Um, and then, of course, not to be outdone, the Brandenburg is like, you know what, I gotta get out of here. They, they are outnumbering us heavily on this side of the map. I gotta get out of here. But unfortunately, he does not realize that I'm over here capturing the Alpha base. So even if he is able to disengage from my team, he's still giving up a perfect freaking broadside for me to shoot at. And it's just a matter of time before my slow Kansas decides to get in range to shoot him. Now, Alaska manages to finish off the Peter bag. Our Yami manages to kill the Grosse Kerr first that was still alive over there. And that just leaves two Alaskas and a Brandenburg. And the Brandenburg couldn't even see me shoot him. And down he goes. So he didn't even get a shot off. He literally got away from the team just to die like 30 seconds later. And that leaves just two Alaskas. And the game is literally, what, seven minutes in? Six and a half minutes in? We've got a beautiful look at the Alaska with the rear turrets. And uh, we're going to try to push out on these guys. They look beautiful. We hit the man, but unfortunately, he, these two Alaskas are going to get very, very lucky against my Kansas. Alaska has plenty of armor to arm my shells. But for whatever reason, I don't know what it is about an Alaska. Alaska just gets overpinned way too much, I think. I, I don't know why. I don't know why Alaskas ha have to get overpinned so much. But it is a thing. And look at this dispersion, guys. Like, that's nasty. Even if I overpin him, that's still going to hurt. There's 10k. Knocked out a turret temporarily. Following it up with the rear guns. We hit him for only 4k that time, getting three overpins. But you can see, overpin city on the broad side of super cruisers. Like, I don't understand that. Uh, Stalingrad doesn't get overpin. My nose don't get overpin. Why isn't Alaska gets overpin? That doesn't make any sense to me. But you can see our team blapping these guys. Uh, we've got, it looks to be a Mino shooting at them, and the game is over. Um, it's just how quickly the game was over. It is ridiculous. So many people just threw their ships away so quickly that I had to post this for you guys. Top of the leaderboard, 2,500 base XP, 3 kills. Only one to get a dev strike. Only one to get the first blood. We, we're the only one in the map to get a medal. Uh, other than the enemy GK that got the diehard. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.